Hi everyone and welcome to just a short video on how you can improve your sneak attack damage and get that 3.75 times sneak attack multiplier. Okay, so as we all know, Clover Operative adds a sneak attack multiplier of 2.5 times normal damage. So if I just show you the Covert Operative card, you can see there it says your range sneak attacks deal 2.5 times normal damage. Okay, I have no other um, like sneak attack multiplier per cards equipped, i.e. Mr. Sandman. So let me just show you what the 2.5 times, uh, times damage looks like. Now, it doesn't register in VATS, although you do get the damage multiplier in VATS. So don't think that if you use VATS, you're not getting the multiplier because you are. It just doesn't register in the top left hand corner of the screen. So I'm just going to shoot this super mutant and you will see top left hand corner sneak attack for 2.5 times damage. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait the game out until 6 p.m. game time, which is when Mr. Sandman becomes active, and I will show you what happens when you equip that perk card. Okay, so I'm back, and as you can see, the time is now, uh, it's just ticked over to 6.02. So I'm just going to show you my perk cards and show you that we still just have Covert Operative equipped, and we're just going to go and kill a Super Mutant. I did have some Vertibirds flying over while I was waiting the game out. So let's just kill this super mutant here and you'll see it's still 2.5 times damage. So let me now equip Mr. Sandman. So at this point, when you're equipping Mr. Sandman, most people would just, just equip it and they wouldn't think about the order of their perks in which they equip them. So we've just popped on Mr. Sandman and now let's go and shoot another super mutant and we'll see what happens. So we've got a guy here, Suicider. He's a legendary super Suicider. So you can see there, top left hand corner, sneak attack for 3.5 times sneak attack damage. Okay, so if we take a look at what the Mr. Sandman perk card says, we will see that it says, at night, your silenced weapons do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. So the night time in this game starts at 6pm and it finishes at 6am I believe. Covert Operative gives you 2.5 times sneak attack damage, so 50% more should be an extra 1.25 times sneak attack, which means that that 2.5 plus the 1.25 gives you 3.75. But for some reason, Mr. Sandman is bugged in a way that it doesn't register the full amount and for some reason you only get 3.5 times sneak attack damage. So. What you need to do in order to get the full amount is unequip Covert Operative and unequip Mr. Sandman and then you just need to equip Mr. Sandman and then Covert Operative. So you have to do Mr. Sandman first and then Covert Operative and if we just go and find an enemy now we will see, yeah we've got an enemy right here, let's wait for him to just walk out from behind this um, cooking station. And let me just shoot him and you'll see there top left hand corner sneak attack for 3.75 times sneak attack damage so there you are guys if you want to get 3.75 times sneak attack damage with your ranged weapons you need to make sure that you equip mr sandman first and then cover operative after and that you are within that 6 p.m to 6 a.m deadline okay oh well, if you've enjoyed this video please hit that like button and if you want to see more fallout 76 videos don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.